Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. And today we are going to create this gadget sale post for social media, all in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Go to File and create a new artboard with square dimensions. Now select the Rectangle tool. And create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. And from the gradient panel, apply a radial gradient and invert it. Change the black side of the gradient to a bright blue shade and the white side to a dark blue shade. Note down the RGB codes and apply them accordingly. Again select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. Rotate it to 45 degree and place it on the top left side. Create a copy and place it on the bottom right side. Create another copy and adjust it in the center. Slightly scale it from both sides. Select all these rectangles, and decrease the opacity to 30%. Select the above two rectangles, and apply a shadow to them. Note down these values, and hit OK. Select the third rectangle, and apply the same shadow. But this time, change the X offset to a negative value, and hit OK. Select the pen tool, and create a triangle shape. Change its color to white. Now we have to copy this triangle in a circular path. Select the rotate tool, and click at some vertical distance from this triangle. Hold down the Alt key, and click and drag to create a copy like this. Now keep pressing Ctrl D to repeat this last action. And stop once a full circle is complete. Select all these triangles. Press Ctrl G to group them together. And decrease the opacity to 5%. And align them to the center of the artboard. Slightly scale them to adjust their size. Now add a product image here. You can download this image from the video description. Align it to the center, and scale it down. Now we will create a shadow for this image. Select the ellipse tool, and create an ellipse. Align it to the center, and change its color to black. Go to effect, and apply a blur to this ellipse. Select a value around 30, and hit OK. Again go to effect, and apply a feather effect this time. Select a value around 20, and hit OK. Slightly adjust the ellipse, and decrease the opacity to 70%. Now add some content for the headline. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle. Create a copy, and change its color to yellow shade. 
Note down this RGB code. Create a copy of this rectangle for later use. Zoom in a little, and add some text. Select the Type tool, and write a headline. Change the color accordingly. Adjust their alignment to the center. You can also adjust the font size as you like. Now select this full headline. Select the transform tool. Hold down the control key. And drag this anchor point upward. This will nicely transform this headline. Bring them slightly closer to adjust the spacing. And slightly scale them up to fill some space. Add your logo at the top right corner. I will write some text here to give you an idea. Place your logo here. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle. Change its color to yellow shade. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Zigzag. Decrease the size to 3 pixels. Select 5 ridges per segment. Select Smooth Points, and hit OK. Select the Type tool, and add a discount offer. Align it to the center and change its color. Slightly rotate it, and adjust the font size. Slightly adjust this discount offer. And place it closer to the product image. Now scale down this rectangle that we created earlier. Write some text for this rectangle. Align it to the center. And make other adjustments. Select the rectangle. Go to Effect, and round its corners. Select a suitable value, and hit OK. Copy this text. Change its color to white, and add a contact number. And adjust the alignment if needed. Now we can add some extra shapes to our design. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle. Change its color to black, and scale it down. Zoom in further to see it properly. Right click on this circle. Go to transform. And select transform each from the list. 
click on preview and change horizontal movement to 10 pixels and create a copy press ctrl d several times to create copies select all these circles again go to transform and select transform each but this time change the vertical movement to 10 pixels and create a copy again press ctrl d to create several copies select all these circles and decrease the opacity to 30 percent adjust their position according to your design create a copy and place it on the opposite side change its color to white to make it different from the first one now select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard press ctrl a to select everything go to object and make a clipping mask and here is the final output hope you enjoyed the tutorial like this video and don't forget to subscribe to mac visuals stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one